Dustin Smith, Jabari for three and the win. Yeah! What's up, everyone? We are here to fuel your Rockets news. This is Rock Seal Podcast. I'm your host, LaShar Binkley. As you see, again, I'm in my car. I want to give you all a quick update after today's practice as the Rockets get, getting ready for tomorrow's game against the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, this is the first practice they've had since the All-Star break, so we kind of got some updates on a couple of the players. And also the Maybe you, maybe they won't change out the lineup um, that M.A. kind of alluded to before the break. So at today's practice, uh, M.A. and a couple of players talked to the media. Uh, M.A. Uh, came and said that they don't plan on making any changes to the lineup coming up, um, that they want to see how everything's worked out because they've had a lot of injuries. They want to see how it works out with the starting five back together. And then they'll kind of make an evaluation from there. Um, one thing I want to kind of say about that is I think it's a fluid situation. I think he wanted to see how it was with Fred back in the lineup, even though, yes, we have seen it <laughs> for a lot of the season already when Fred was in the lineup. But I guess now that they've tweaked some things since the All-Star break, and I'm sure they've had some conversation with certain players, I think they want to give them one more opportunity to show that, hey, I deserve to be in a rotation. I deserve to be in a starting lineup. So I think, like I say, it's a fluid situation. I don't think that it's carved in stone. I think if they go out against the Pelicans and have another horrible first quarter, you may see changes as soon as um, Friday or uh, uh, this weekend because the Rockets do play Thursday, and then they play again Friday, and then they have a game against uh, Oklahoma City on Sunday. Um, so that'll be something to kind of keep in mind when we're uh, looking at this live situation. Also remember, the Rockets – and it may have no ch- no problem changing out the closing lineup, which a lot of times is more important than who starts is really who closes. So I think that him knowing that, hey, if so-and-so, if Jalen's not playing well, Jabari's not playing well, then they won't play the fourth quarter. I don't think he has a problem changing out the closing lineup. So he may not be as in big of a hurry to change out the starting lineup. But again, I think if they go out there and they bomb again in the first quarter on uh, tomorrow night's game, I think you may see changes this weekend as far as the starting lineup is concerned, because I think they're at a really critical point where they're already on the outside looking in when it comes to play in spot. They're over three games out behind the 10th uh, seed. They're trying to catch Golden State in L.A., but that is a big, big um, hill to climb considering you're talking about LeBron and A.D. on one team, and then you got Steph Curry on the other team, teams that have been there, done that. It's not going to be easy to catch these teams. And you come out here in this tough six-game stretch where you're playing – Phoenix twice, you're playing the Pelicans, and somehow, some way, you're playing, you're playing um, Oklahoma City three times within the six-game span, which is just kind of amazing to me how the schedule is working out. But you're playing some of the best teams in the league out of this stretch. So we're going to find out real quickly if the Rockets have any chance left at making the play in the spot because if they come out and go one and five or two and four, they pretty much can wrap it up. They won't be making the play in the spot um, at that point. So – they at least need to be able to split these six games. Maybe even if some miracle or some way they can go four and two, that would give them a huge boost as far as getting to that next step and going on to the uh, trying to make the play-in spot. But at the time being right now, they're really focused on who's going to be playing what minutes. And we also found out that Fred Van Vliet will be back tomorrow after missing the previous five games. We also found out that Cam Whitmore will be playing tomorrow. But unfortunately – Tari Eason will not be playing, and they said that they need to reevaluate him after this long break to see exactly where he is, which isn't a really good sign considering that he was already doing some two-on-two, three-on-three work and hadn't gotten to the point where he's actually doing a regular five-on-five workout. So the fact that they need to reevaluate him again, that's not a good sign as far as when he's going to be playing anytime soon. Not to say that, hey, he's going to be shut down for the entire season because I don't know that I'm not a doctor and I'm not in there you know, talking to their medical team, but it's not a good sign when you have to reevaluate again after a player has been out as long as Tari Eason has been out. And then maybe they're just playing really cautious at this point, but the season is starting to wind down. We're already close to March. So at this point, um, it's not looking too good as far as Tari Eason being back anytime soon. So that just means more minutes for players like Cam Whitmore. And if Cam Whitmore continue to play like he was playing for the break, 
like I was saying before about the fluid situation with starting lineup, maybe Cam Whitmore makes his way into the starting lineup. Maybe our man makes his way into the starting lineup. Like I said, I think it's a fluid situation. I think that really comes down to these next couple of games. If the Rockets go out there and they get beat by double digits again in the first quarter, I have no doubt that in the next uh, several games, we're going to be seeing a change in that starting lineup. And it may be Jalen. Um, he's honestly, he's the likely candidate because they're not going to put Fred on the bench. Let's be honest. They're not putting Dylan on the bench. They're not going to put Alpern on the bench because it makes no sense. They have nobody that's backing him up that's even close to where Alpern is. So there's no way he's going to the bench. So it's really come down to Jabari, who's one of your best rebounders, or Jalen. Um, that's really the two players to come down to. And then likely candidate would be Jalen. But right now, I think they're willing to give him another shot and to see if this starting line can go out there and actually perform the way that they were performing early in the season. Um, because, like I said, M.A.'s here to win. They're not here just to for rebuilding and developing players. So we will see how all that plays out starting tomorrow with tomorrow's game. Um, I'll actually be out at Sunday's game against Oklahoma City. So, of course, we'll have the pre- and post-game for that. But it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out. And please let us know in the comments, what do you think of today's move? Do you think the Rockets should have made a change in the starting line? And if so... Who should be in and who should be out of that starting lineup? And what do you, how do you feel the Rocks will do in these next six games? Um, do you think they have any chance of splitting these six games? Or do you have zero confidence that they won't win more than one or two games in this, this tough six game stretch coming up? So definitely leave that down in the comments. As usual, we appreciate the support and make sure you continue to hit that like button and subscribe button. That helps us out with the algorithm. And as usual, we appreciate all the support and we'll be back. Hopefully this Saturday with the next episode of Rockets Fuel Podcast.